Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I now have a great pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Nitin Knight of Rotary Club of Pune, Shivajinagar. He is the Chairman Managing Director of Cubic Tech Integration Private Limited. I can assure you, he is one of the most creative Rotarians we have in our district. He is going to talk about his business idea to its realization and entrepreneurship journey. He started his enterprise, hold your breath, like you when you were college youths, in his college he started. So Nitin, over to you. Yeah. Thank you, Pradeep. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I would like to share my screen. Uh, so, yeah. Can you see my screen now? Yes, it's visible. Okay. And you can hear me. My voice is okay. Yes, sir. We are good to go. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, Pradeep ji. I, I just realized that uh, if I would have met you uh, around 10, 15 years back, uh, or maybe uh, when we started off our company when I was in college, that is 25 years back. Uh, I think this journey, uh, what we have done in last 25 years, I would have done it in maybe 5, 10 years. Great sessions by uh, you, Pradeep sir, and also uh, Chandra Moli sir. I would like to thank all the panelists here, uh, and uh, especially uh, DG Pankaj Shah, who is also part of this uh, session. Uh, all the organization uh, uh, who have uh, actually uh, organized this uh, fantastic event, I should say. All the Rotary, uh, Rotarians from all the clubs across the globe, uh, my fellow Rotarians uh, from Rotary Club of Pune, Shivaji Nagar, uh, and of course, President uh, of my club, uh, President Sharad Dole. Thank you all. Uh, so before uh, beginning uh, uh, a small presentation, see what I have done. Uh, my 25, 26 years of journey, uh, I'll be revealing you in next 15, 20 minutes. So, uh, so I have listed a few points and, uh, you know, and I hope uh, this journey, uh, whatever uh, I have gone through, uh, you may find it interesting. Uh, so, you know, the beginning, like, like all of you, you know, um, uh, uh, we have started with uh, when I was in college in my engineering days, actually, uh, a typical backbencher I was, you know. Uh, so, and I always used to think all those toppers, front front benchers in a class, and I always used to think that uh, you know how these guys are great, and you know they are toppers of the class, and how much they study, and you know. So we uh, a typical batch ben uh, benches attitude. Uh, I was having, you know, uh, always thinking what is to be done, and uh, you know how how we can go to that position and all that things. Okay, and uh, actually that started, you know, clicking various ideas to do something. Uh, you know, uh, in the life, okay? And uh, so passion to do something actually started uh, from our backbenchers group that time, okay? And uh, many times uh, we were asked to go out of the class <laughs> because, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a typical backbenchers, we used to share our ideas with each other, uh, not attending what the teacher or the professors are telling us. Okay, so all these things, so I was, uh, uh, in general, uh, uh, you know, uh, a normal uh, engineering student like all of us, or maybe uh, uh, all of you uh, uh, who are uh, studying uh, in the college for various streams as on date. Uh, okay. Uh, so, but uh, let me tell you, uh, you know, in, in college days only, uh, as uh, mentioned by Chandramoli sir, as well as Pradeep sir, you know, uh, in, in our mind, uh, we actually started thinking that something different is to be done. Uh, by do, uh, other uh, uh, other than doing a typical uh, you know a job uh, join, uh, giving interviews joining uh, you know some company and scale our life as a typical uh, you know uh, on the way so we we actually those discussions started off and one more very important thing that at that time uh, we were not having money right uh, like uh, college going you know and pressures and uh, a typical middle class family and no money to go into pubs or uh, restaurants in the evening so we used to uh, you know uh, stay in a college for uh, additional hours discuss everything uh, play various games sports okay 
uh, there was no uh, you know uh, whatsapp there <laughs> no internet so uh, passing time was also uh, actually uh, a big issue that time so uh, actually that that was a blessing in disguise you know so we started uh, you know more focusing on creating uh, vague ideas and you know what we should do and all those something like a daydreaming you can say so we used to talk a lot about uh, uh, you know uh, all these things and uh, then what we uh, what we decided uh, 25 years back that okay after college uh, okay as if we are doing uh, just the time pass and discussing and dreaming okay for uh, all of our future uh, so we decided to uh, one of our senior friend was working in some organization uh, in electronics and it field and he was uh, uh, in that organization there were one or two uh, uh, pcs were also there so uh, we started working uh, after uh, the college hours and we started going to his friend's office because he was having a pc at, in his office and office normally ends uh, around 6 it used to end around 6 uh, 7 pm and then we used to go to office after dinner 9 pm and stay there uh, till midnight or till uh, early morning to do something on the pc share our ideas and all those things and uh, you will be surprised that uh, only one pc uh, actually there were two three pcs but the allocated pc to us by our friend was only one and uh, six of us you know six of our friends we used to work on that pc try some programming do something write a letter so, you know that time it was altogether new i am talking about uh, uh, year 1992 93 when it revolution just started uh, in india uh, and uh, so we used to uh, and then uh, slowly uh, what we have decided that uh, let's form the company so uh, i was in third year of engineering and uh, you know uh, so we converted our idea uh, uh, six of us you know so six uh, close friends uh, we started a company uh, registered the company that time uh, name uh, and that's why the name cubix you know so you can uh, google cubix so cubix is like six faces so six of us were there so like a cube uh, six uh, you know faces that's why uh, it's cubix and uh, we started off then uh, uh, all partners uh, my, I, I'm, I, I was a junior to my partners because we were from the same college but uh, so I was doing my engineering and my partners were all uh, you know uh, working in various organizations and we used to meet in the evening and uh, uh, started sharing ideas and then we formed this company and all that the best part is you know we were not having uh, you know uh, money so why I, what i used to do that uh, during the college days uh, you know after the lectures which uh, normally uh, you know uh, 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 the college timing was around till 3 pm or 4 pm then what i used to do i, I used to bunk the last lecture uh, uh, take my scooter. Uh, my dad had given me a, uh, a scooter that time. So I used to take my scooter and uh, go to uh, various uh, companies, okay, uh, to sell uh, our ideas. So what products we are going to launch and all that thing. So I started off right from the college. And many times, uh, you know, even the, uh, uh, then I have realized later that even my professors were knowing that this guy always, you know, uh, uh, get get vanished from the class, uh, maybe for the last lecture. And, you know, so many times I got the warning also. So then uh, in the final year of engineering, what I did, because we, uh, we had to develop uh, products uh, of our ideas, right? I'm talking about uh, electronics and IT field. Uh, so we had something in mind to develop the products on our own. But, you know, we were not having money, we were not having that infrastructure and also uh, to be admitted, uh, we, were, we were not that intelligent also, you know, to actually do, uh, the ideas were there, but probably we were not uh, like well versed with those programming or uh, the embedded systems assembly and all that thing. So then I, I came up with the idea that, uh, you know, uh, I mentioned about the toppers in the class. So I, I used, they were all friends, right? So uh, I used to discuss with them and then uh, I told them that, okay, you are looking for any projects to be done. So we have certain ideas. And then uh, in the final year of engineering, uh, I, I mean, so it's really, uh, means I'm uh, very excited to uh, tell you this, that four of the projects, four groups, that is around 20 students, were developing a product, uh, means the project, uh, you know, final year engineering project, which were sponsored 
by our company you know so i am i am their classmate right so i i am just uh, so we have uh, told them that okay this project you have to do now what what do you mean by sponsorship no money sponsorship let me tell you the sponsorship was okay you will get the certificate because we have a registered company you will get the certificate and everything but you need to do these projects on your own and the idea will be ours and let me tell you those were a successful project so we got actually then we uh, done our own r&d uh, later and we actually got those products in the market after my uh, our, when we actually started uh, you know actually manufacturing those product lines and all that so that was real fun and uh, you know even the project guide the external examiner they used to ask that which is this company we have never heard this company and you know uh, all my fellow mates all those toppers from the class used to uh, keep it as a secret that okay this company is uh, owned by uh, nitin only our friend so uh, you know because that that may uh, have created wrong impression for the whole class right so this was uh, really the exciting story and then actually uh, uh, actually the real journey uh, started off from there but you know as uh, like each business uh, you know uh, always there are ups and downs and uh, when we started off the journey within first year our four partners left reasons of course they were good friend they are still good friend but there were reasons for them they have to run the family they uh, they wanted to you know do their career and they were not confident of you know uh, six of us coming together and how we'll grow in the life and all that thing okay so four partners on a, on a amicable basis they left us uh, in second year itself when i actually passed out from the college and we were just two of us myself and uh, mr vijay who is my uh, partner and uh, the stakeholder in the company for, from last 27 years and we continued uh, to and decided to grow this startup uh, as a it infrastructure product and services company from pune uh, and we started off small uh, outhouse uh, in kothrud uh, and then slowly our journey started and you can it's it's really very uh, i can say uh, the rough roads uh, we were on to because uh, no training of business uh, no ideas uh, of how to raise the capital and everything so you know and after 6 months we got our first uh, customer uh, in pune after uh, actually uh, not after incorporation but actually when we started off full time right so uh, because my partner uh, was also working that time so we came together he quit his job we were a bit small money we loaned from our parents and then we started off we got the first customer outside uh, pune that was also exciting that time because we we used to roam in pune but you know to get someone outside pune and from where we got the customer we got it from ahmednagar just uh, 90 uh, 100 kilometers from pune why i mentioned this because that time it was very excited because we used to go uh, to ahmednagar to demonstrate our product uh, actually on a two wheeler you know and uh, uh, not by bus because then we had a shortage of time and all that then um, we decided that okay now the business have started so we have to go to all across india and somehow i don't know that uh, that time but we decided that we'll uh, open uh, the first office uh, outside pune and we opened it in chennai and uh, again uh, so cubex first office uh, outside pune was in chennai and we started our operations from chennai we hired few people there that time and then uh, slowly slowly we tied up with global leading it infrastructure companies uh, uh, from the same field for earlier we used to develop the products on our own but soon we realized that we are not actually the r&d people we are not actually the people who uh, and that time in india the it revolution was happening but you know uh, the manufacturing infrastructure like what today we are having uh, in this country was not there and that time chinese and taiwanese company used to come here and even the us company used to come here and you know uh, capture those markets so we from a manufacturing we uh, took a call that uh, instead of wasting time there let's have a tie up so we uh, tied up with the various uh, global companies uh, then uh, slowly uh, we grown and uh, eight offices in the country uh, uh, within a span of 5 7 years we had uh today 75% uh, to 80% of top 300 organization you name any organization and they are our customers uh, we have three overseas offices uh, singapore uh, last 15 years uh, uk last 6 years and usa last 4 years so we started global operations because we have global customer base 
uh, we have customers in 10 countries uh, as on date uh, apart from india so we we are uh, we actually are into it infrastructure uh, production solutions selling to um, uh, various uh, domains of customer like ITITS, like government, defense, banking, finance, manufacturing, wherever you find the digitization or IT infrastructure or a data center, our products uh, on uh, our uh, products are there. Uh, and uh, so these are okay. We won various awards in India and abroad uh, for IT technology solution uh, for our company. And uh, actually, uh, so this journey actually continued, but see these are just the glimpses which i have given to you but let me tell you there were so many times we failed you know we failed with our earlier many products you know i i still remember i i used to go on my own uh, to demonstrate uh, the product which used to manufacture the it product and which we used to demonstrate and i i went to a, a, a company called kalani steel it is still there uh, in pune and that IT head called me for the product and uh, he asked me to demonstrate that product in his data center. I started uh, I, on my own, I started giving that uh, demonstration and in within five minutes, you know, there were a lot of technical issues with the products popped up. Okay. And uh, it was not working properly. But, you know, uh, that time, maybe uh, the IT head of uh, Bharat Four Student, Kalani Steel, he, he told me that, okay, Nitin, that's fine. Uh, it's not working, but you can take your time and uh, you know come back up and so uh, looking at the passion looking at our sincerity the customers also cooperated and but many times you know uh, you know so what people normally uh, think uh, you know the success is like this but uh, in the second diagram you can see what year re really it looks like because success part to a success is always up and down Many times your products are failing, markets are failing, you don't have money to grow, you can see uh, there are products. So all these things uh, happens to everyone, uh, not just us. And, and that's why, you know, we used to motivate ourselves that, okay, no, we will do this, we will do that and all that thing. And uh, I, I would like to share uh, a small uh, video here, okay, and uh, how, uh, you know, we have taken the failures uh, in the business. Okay, because, you know, many times, because then actually this session would, uh, will go to two, three hours if you discuss about the failures and what steps we have taken uh, and how we came out uh, from those failures. So a small video I'm playing here. Uh, and on that basis, uh, I'll speak further on, on to the next slide. Uh, uh, all, and uh, here I would, I would like to mention that always accept the failure and conquer. So uh, please... Uh, Check this video. Sanju, please let me know if the audio is, uh, uh, is audible for this. After being cut from his high school basketball team, he went home, locked himself in his room and cried. He wasn't able to speak until he was almost four years old and his teachers said he would never amount to much. Was demoted from her job as a news anchor because she wasn't fit for television. Fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no original ideas. At age 11, he was cut from his team after being diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, which made him smaller in stature than most kids his age. At 30 years old, he was left devastated and depressed after being unceremoniously removed from the company he started. high school dropout whose personal struggles with drugs and poverty culminated in an unsuccessful suicide attempt. The teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything and that he should go into a field where he might succeed by virtue of his pleasant personality. Rejected by Decca Recording Studios, who said, we don't like their sound, they have no future in show business.
his first book was rejected by 27 publishers. His fiancée died, failed in business, had a nervous breakdown and was defeated in eight elections. If you've never failed, you've never tried anything new. Nitin, this is amazing, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can so, I requ request you one thing. The road tractors have to unfortunately give away the Zoom platform in about five, ten minutes from now. So we can have another session with them later on. Uh, maybe under only with you. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, so just find out. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here, uh, you know, uh, I would like to tell everyone that failures are part of your journey always. Okay, so don't take failures uh, in your mind. You have to overcome those failures. And uh, what actually helps you uh, is your passion, okay. thinking you big good and thinking ahead. Okay. Now, uh, le let me let me just give you the glimpses of uh, you know this decade. You know, you see all these companies which are startups uh, in last five to 10 years. And uh, these are the success stories. These are the people like you, uh, you know, the young graduates from the college or the college going students. And look at the business valuation as on date. Ohio Rooms launch date 2013 and 16 billion is the value of that company run by a 30 year old uh, you know person paytm flipkart swiggy you know baiju's you you know this story right baiju he was a teacher in kerala and today he is having more than 8 billion valuation so all these people what they have done they have given justice to their uh, uh, you know ideas so uh, as as the great dhirubhai ambani also said idea is uh, you know uh, it's uh, no one's imagination uh, actually, one minute. Yeah. So think big, think fast, think fast, think ahead, and ideas are no one's monopoly. So uh, you know, so you have to keep this in mind. And uh, because of shortage of time, uh, I'm winding up here. But uh, you know, uh, only three things or four things uh, you have to keep in mind: that passion. Whatever you have to do, you have to have a passion to do those things. Uh, you should have an inspiration and let me tell you, every one of you should have one or two mentor. Mentorship is very uh, important in this uh, world. Uh, if you don't have a mentor, you know, you can make a mentor to your mother or father, but let, you know, you have to have one mentor, your friend, your professor, your senior, which will help you in wrong, uh, long run and also action on ground. Because many people, they only keep dreaming and they don't take action on ground. So start small, or uh, but put your actions on ground and look at my next video. And after this, uh, I'll end my session and you will realize, you know, you can do wonders because this is the time. This is the time uh, for you and every day is important. So uh, uh, display your passion and conquer the world. Thank you.
Hello. So, uh, yeah, to end with, uh, you know, this a small uh, presentation, I hope you like, and all those videos are really inspiring. Uh, at at uh, after 25 years, it still motivates me, and I'm sure it will motivate uh, you all also. Uh, I, I will share uh, these videos with Pradeep Ji, you, and you can circulate to all the people. Uh, so, uh, the last thing uh, I would like to mention about the business journey, uh, and I would like to end uh, uh, with a small share uh, here. Ki chalta rahunga pat par, chalne me mahir ban jaunga. Chalta rahunga pat par, chalne me mahir ban jaunga. Ya to manzil mil jayegi, ya to manzil mil jayegi, ya acha musafir to ban hi jaunga. This is the way and thank you. Thank you all for giving me opportunity to present myself. Uh, this is Nitin Naik. Uh, I'm signing off. Thank you. Uh, thank you so for gracing us with your presence. Wait, 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 Siddesh. Nitin Naik, uh, thank you very much. I am so amazed with your presentation. You have given the best mantra to all our youth. What happened? Can you, can you pull on your slide? Yeah, I'm just stopping my screen. One more. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, you have given the best uh, mantra, display passion and conquer the world. I hope everybody over here agrees. Uh, people have given beautiful uh, comments to you, Nitin Naik. And uh, uh, I think with this, we come to the end of our formal presentation. I hand over the, uh, just a reminder, uh, if you want to uh, attend further sessions, Siddesh, please put the uh, link, uh, Google Doc link. Yes, I have a, Send the Google Doc link over there in the yeah, chat box. The, yeah, there's a Google uh, Google Doc link which will be shared to you on chat. Uh, please click on that and register for the next three sessions. I don't see it yet, but please do share it immediately. So I have uh, shared it okay. earlier. I'll share it again. Once no, again. Share it again. People would have missed it by now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, please also answer the poll and then sign off. I now hand the session back to the road tractors.